to week 1, day 3 of Summer Steam. Today we'll be making a circuit out of Play-Doh. What you'll need is Play-Doh, a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery clip connector, and 5 LED lights. They all should be together in a baggie in the shoebox. The first thing you want to do is put the clip connector on top of the battery. It should be able to snap on right on top, so make sure you just press a little bit hard. Next, you'll want to take the Play-Doh and split it up into two pieces. They don't have to be exactly the same size, just as long as they're two medium-sized pieces. Go ahead and roll them around in your hands until they're kind of roundish without a lot of holes. Then you want to take the wires of the clip connector and put one wire into each piece of Play-Doh. You're going to take an LED light and you're going to place one of the metal prongs into each piece of Play-Doh. Make sure that the long prong goes with the red wire and it should light up. However, if you touch the two pieces of Play-Doh together, it won't be a circuit anymore and the light won't light up. Because Play-Doh conducts electricity, it is possible to create a circuit. A circuit is a path in which electricity flows through and it needs to be made out of a conductor. These conductors are usually made out of metals like copper. An insulator is the opposite of a conductor. Insulators are designed to stop electricity from flowing through. These insulators can be found in everyday materials such as wood, plastic, and rubber. However, for our activity, we are able to use Play-Doh as our conductor. In order for electricity to flow, there needs to be a conductive path connecting the positive end of a battery to the negative end. This is called a closed circuit. Along the way, the electricity can flow through things like lights, which make them light up. Circuits are paths for electricity to flow, usually made out of wires or other electronic parts. There are lots of examples of circuits in a classroom, like lights or anything that plugs into a wall outlet. Sometimes circuits might not be visible, for example, they could be hidden inside a computer or TV with a plastic case. Now that you have completed the activity, can you identify any other circuits around your house?